Yellowstone supervolcano. USGS geologist reveals blowtorch system is heating the Earth's crust at Yellowstone supervolcano. This is by Sebastian Ketley of Express UK. It's the world's most known supervolcano. It could be devastating if it has a super eruption. And it's like a powerful blowtorch heating up the Earth's crust deep below the United States, according to U.S. Geological Survey scientists. Yellowstone supervolcano last erupted. It had a super eruption about 640,000 years ago, and it had a significant large eruption 70,000 years ago, and it had 80 eruptions since then. They claim that it happens about every six a large eruption happens uh, about every 6,000 years, so we're overdue. Now, it produced at that time, the super eruption of 640,000 years ago, a blast 2,500 times bigger than the Mount St. Helens 1980 eruption. And before that monster blast, Yellowstone Supervolcano erupted twice more, two th uh, at uh, 1.3 million years ago and 2.1 million years ago. All three eruptions were absolutely cataclysmic. They blanketed the United States in ash and permanently reshaped the land around Yellowstone. In fact, one of the super eruptions, they say, had so much ash, they found that it erupted twice close to each other, 170 years apart. So all three eruptions, cataclysmic, blanketing the U.S. in ash and permanently reshaping the land around Yellowstone, the last volcanic eruption, for instance, created a volcanic caldera measuring an impressive 34 miles by 45 miles. The size of Yellowstone's past eruptions led many to believe a future eruption could absolutely devastate the world at large. USGS geophysicist Michael Poland addressed some of these concerns during a Yellowstone presentation at the Gardner Community Center in Montana. And this, uh, this geologist compared the raw power lurking under Yellowstone to a blowtorch, a blowtorch that's heating up North American tectonic plates. The process, he says, in turn melts down the Earth's mantle and it heats up the Earth's crust until it expands and it cracks. When the uh, crust cracks along so-called fault lines, earthquakes are triggered throughout the Yellowstone National Park. USGS estimates anywhere between 1,000 and 3,000 such tremors strike Yellowstone every year. Dr. Poland said everyone talks about earthquakes, and rightly so, and there are anywhere from 1,500 to 2,500 earthquakes that are located every year in the Yellowstone region. He says it's one of the more seismically active places in the country. Many of these earthquakes strike the national park in swarms, but they are rarely felt by local residents. A better indicator of the volcanic activity bubbling under the ground are the frequent geyser eruptions, the hydrothermal energy that we have, thousands of hot springs peppered around Yellowstone. Well, we know Yellowstone has 60% of the world's geysers, and they have over 10,000 hydrothermal areas in the uh, Yellowstone National Park. And what does all of this say about the possibility of Yellowstone erupting again? Dr. Poland says, the most common misconception might be that the volcano is overdue for some kind of eruption or that it only explodes in these catastrophic massive explosions. He says you have to have enough magma to erupt and then you have to have pressure to get the magma to the surface. So those are the things we can actually monitor for and tell others to, or not uh, that the situation is likely. The USGS predicts the next time Yellowstone erupts, it will be a massive hydrothermal blast and not a volcanic blast. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.